Bitch, you know I keep. Place bitch, you know I kill you dead. Place bitch, you know I kill you dead. Look at my steel low, I'm the baddest ever step. You in the head. Look at my steel low, I'm the baddest ever step. You in the wrong place, bitch, you know I kill you dead. Look at my steel low, I'm the baddest ever step. You in the wrong place, bitch, you know I kill you dead. Look at my steel low, I'm the baddest ever step. You in the wrong place. 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 Bitch, you can die, be born again. Die, be born again. Die, be born again. Bitch, you can die, be born again. Die, be born again. Die, be born again before I do something with you, ho. What is going on, y'all? So today I'm coming to y'all with another video. We do a little bit of a Zeus Ta haul and a little not a TV Ta haul. Before I get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what y'all think about this video, okay? But y'all didn't understand what I just said. Hit that like button. Is that clear enough for some of y'all? Talking about speaking gibberish. Anyways, big pressure is free, okay? Free big pressure. We done been screaming free big pressure for the longest, and now she is out the clicker. I'm very excited. Let me tell y'all so a lot of y'all bandwagon. I remember when I was hyping up pressure before y'all liked her. I was like, this bitch is funny. She's quotable. She's hilarious. And all of y'all used to come at me. Oh my God, Pierre, pressure's annoying. Da, da, da. All of a sudden, everybody started using her codes. All of a sudden, everybody started to like her. Ah, I'm just saying, okay? I'm really excited she out of there. Okay, Buki, but you know, she 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 done put up a couple bows. Okay, she been eating some good sauce citrus meals up in there. Okay, her baked beans, collard greens, cornbread, fed. Okay, I'm just saying, but she still looks good though. Uh, regardless or not, whether a big girl or not, y'all know pressure gonna put that ish on. Okay, and then she's gonna do that one. She's really gonna pop her ish. So I'm really excited. She's gonna be hosting me, girls, which. I'm looking forward to um, because of pressure, not no other cast member. I'm looking forward to me, girls, just because of pressure. So I'm a little bit excited about it. Okay, I'm not going to lie. So let's talk a little bit of Rari. So Rari, y'all, has been really spiraling. The girls is really coming for Ferrari's neck. Okay, they are stressing her out because there was a clip that a lot of people noticed, including Big Billy, about um Kai sitting behind um not Kai but Huckleberry was one of the people that that pointed it out not really but Huckleberry pointed out that Kai was sitting behind Ferrari and she was sort of instigating for staff to hit her right which we all saw during the reunion so after that was posted Ferrari felt a way about it and said not Kai this thing now this lame is kind of background say hit a bitch I know you lying. These bitches can't be trusted. And I can't believe this Ferrari. This young and reckless re is lit, though. The last 24 BT. Okay. That's what Huckle posted, right? So after that, Ferrari reposted that and said a lot uh, of things towards Kai uh, and said, I still can't believe Kai laid. Now, we said Ferrari was a so-so type of host. The bitch spelling ain't the best. We ain't never said that now. Kai laid and did that weird ish, hugged up out of me when Shorty arrived, then, lay to, then to lay behind your host back, the platform you ride in, telling Shorty to pop off on me. At that, we from the same city. Disappoint. I can't trust none of you anymore. After this, y'all, Kai went on Instagram and was screaming her lungs out. I'm surprised she even sounded like that with all Shut the kids to be spoken. Shut the fuck up, Don't give a f And it's laid. L-A-I-D. I'm sick of you bitches. Nobody cares for her. Have you ever cared with somebody who's putting their hands on me? No. Have you ever shown me any kind of love from being from the same city? No! Bitch, you get in that mother house and you start acting like a mother slave on bitch, I pack a grit hoe and I be sick of your ass. I'm glad I actually slid you in that tub. You were getting a damn. 
damn. <laughs> Not the girlies turning on each other. That's crazy. Not how glad she parked you in the car. I mean, she parked you. She parked you in the tub. Okay. Rub a dub dub. In the tub. That's crazy. Now, I always felt like I never really liked Bari. I felt like she only dealt with her because she didn't really like the other girlies that she was beefing with. So it was sort of like a, you know, uh, when you click up with somebody because they got the same ops. I felt like it was a little bit of that. Oh, my nerve. Shut the f up, Harari. Don't nobody give a f Now, she went on and continued screaming a little bit more. Child, my dog looking at me crazy. He like, who the fuck is this bitch yelling in my eyes? <laughs> it's no way that ain't nobody even talk about your ass on your own. Talking about sitting in your house and your kids. Yes, please go sit in your house that you saw for a day. When it's been my birthday, I'm a cake cake, and it's not even my birthday. That's crazy. Now here's the thing: I'm all about getting a hustle, okay? But I ain't finna work on my birthday. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck where I'm working at. You ain't finna catch me on no nine to five, no gig, on thing at no birthday of mine. That's a little wild, Ferrari. I guess she wanted a big tip that night. Florida, Miami, some basic bitch, DC, anything. But you had to go get on a motherfucking pole and you think you finna get on this motherfucking internet like you better than your body? Now, I'm not a big fan of Kai, but she has a lot of points. The birthday point, 100%. I agree with that because that's crazy. I really hope that's not true for Ari because, like, that's a little wild. To strip on your birthday, and also, I just feel like, although it was fake of her to do that, Kai was fake of you to do that. You and for I, I don't feel like Kai for her were friends, so she doesn't owe her any loyalty. She's just another coworker to her. So does she really owe you that sort of loyalty to do that to you? Y'all was cool, but I feel I never thought they were friends. I may be wrong, but that's never what I seen from those two as them being friends. So. To me, Ferrari doesn't have that much of a right to feel away because let's not act like you have the final say in regards to casting. Especially how they did you at that reunion, talking about you need a co-host. Okay? Now, they went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like Aaliyah, uh, with a whole lot of posts. Kai said, this is why you can't get no respect. Well, you know, and Kai's like, this is why you can't get no respect! You know, that's how Kai was typing it. Uh, this is why you can't come back to the city. Talking about taking me out of VA when you live here with your damn stuff is crazy. Talking high and mighty when you was on your birthday. Maybe if you are your spot and not for you would have had a point. Leave me alone before I tell that nice Muslim man how you really get your money. Who's the nice Muslim man? And then she for already said, This is why you can't take no bitch out of VA with me. Give them some clout in a platform, they think they bigger and better. Okay, and then she said, even when the whole state was for her, I said nothing. Even when she treated me far after my father passed away, I still didn't put my hands on her. I never spoke bad about her. I take her, I text her directly. So to try to my name and character all day is insane. You sat on TV several times. You say you didn't have no friends, and I treat you accordingly. And stop telling people this is your platform because I'm making it pop. This mosh now, okay, legacy. Kai Ho! See, that don't even sound right. 
Legacy Ho, that's all right. Rory Ho, that's all right. You feel me? Like, you got to make it sound right, Kai. You know what I'm saying? You got to add another name, you know, to the Ho. Or else you just can't be the host. <laughs> Dude, you got to have that tag. Like, if, the, if, if your name don't fit next to Ho, you can't be the host. That's the new rule, okay? You got to be a Ho to be a host. Y'all gonna steal that online and make it a viral on TikTok at like y'all ain't take it from me though, bitch. Fuck you, yeah, niggas. I'm sick of y'all stealing from me. Anyways, yeah, you gotta be a hoe to be a host. That's the new vibe. You feel know I me? Mean? You gotta be a hoe to be a host. You feel know I me? Mean? So here's some potential hosts that people are talking about, uh, which you know brought up some more beef. I feel like they should keep Ferrari as the host. And the reason why I say is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If Ferrari going to keep getting punted out and slapped up, let her do that. It's still her show. Emphasis. Now, if they put Legacy and Mel, which is a lot of people are trying to make them to the host, I do not think this would be good. The reason why is because the not as TV fans, they're very bipolar. And they switch up on you quick. Quick as hell. They switch up on you quicker than cash. You know cash will switch up on a bitch quick. So I feel like they made Mel and Legacy the host. Y'all going to turn on them. And I don't want them to get turned on. A lot of you fans or kids, y'all going to start turning on them, acting like they're villains for doing their job. So that's why I don't want them to do to be a host uh, and a co-host on there. I'd rather them come back as like main cast members, right? Now, them on me, girls, no. Isaiah, stop. Stop. You trying to get these girls packed out. I'm sick of it. They already know they have to deal with Young Oracleist. They got them big back bitches coming for them. It's the mo-ish. And you try to make them go on Mean Girls? When you got Big Bill, a Big My My, Big Bo a Big Lolly, a Big Billy, everything all Mean Girls gonna be big, and you trying to pack them out? Legacy, Melanie, please don't go there. Isaiah, you cool and all, but I see what you're trying to do, and I'm not here for it. I think this will be the dumbest thing they'll do if they go on there. Y'all better off being the host of co-host of Young and Reckless because it's just not gonna be what they think it's gonna be. It's gonna be really bad. Okay, I'm just saying. Now, Sai, uh, by the way, ended up joining in to a lot of the Ferrari jagging because, you know, the girls on Ferrari ass, okay? And posted and said, Ferrari, damn, why you wanted Legacy to get her leg back so bad? What's up with that? From what I see, Legacy, uh, uh, Ferrari was on your side. Side, all that big forehead go to waste. You don't be thinking. Like, <laughs> sorry. For, did I did I read that wrong? I felt like she was saying, oh, Legacy got to get her leg back, meaning like, oh, that bitch, you know, she got to get her leg back for how side did her dirty. I felt like Ferrari was more on her side. I'm not even a Ferrari fan, but I'm just being honest. Like, that's how I watched and read the situation. She was happy that side was there so she could get her again. Because we all know Ferrari don't like Legacy. So this to me was a little weird to me. Like, this was a little bit random. Like, it didn't really make a lot of sense for a side to put this. Okay? Now, y'all know Liddy is the president. So as a pre pre presidential duty, she's trying to make sure that Ferrari is no longer the host anymore. Okay? She posted and said, Melanie needs to be the new host of Young and R. And Legacy needs to be the co-host. And she's trying to get the fans riled up so that way they could kick Ferrari off her throne. Damn, Ferrari, you're going to have to do something better than putting that pussy down. You're going to have to put something down. Maybe your house, a car, something else going to have to get put down. Because <laughs> I don't think the Punani going to do it the way these girls is coming for you. Like I said, I do still think that they should keep her as the host. Her face is not cemented with the brand. So try to switch up the brand, it may ruin the brand. Bitch, I sound like one of them uh, makeup people. My brand, okay? Like, don't do that. That's how just I feel about it. And I'm not even a Rock Ferrari fan. Like, I'm not even like, oh, I love Ferrari. Like, eh. now, uh, she addressed it 
on her Young and Reckless page, which, you know, I see what you're doing there, bitch. Uh -huh. She like, this is my shit. Y'all know how far I do. She posted and said, Liddy, anything else you want to say to me? What's your issue about, what's your issue all of a sudden? Bandwagon, pretty much. Every time I wake up, you popping them guns from Cali. Them two hosts and co-hosts. How did your standards, Liddy? You had to keep pressure Mel to come to the reunion. Letting her know that Big Ivory was filming baddies. She knew to show up at the reunion today so she could let that coin for her eviction notice and her car repo. Ain't nothing wrong with getting that eviction notice sent away. <laughs> I never done that. No, not too much, okay? But I know some bitches who had. Ain't no shame in the game. If that is true, at Not As TV will never lower the standards of Young and, Re Young and Reckless, in my opinion. Young and Reckless is only leveling up. If anything, they need to remove you and put Joyce for president. Now, Joyce is cool and all, but Miss Tech may many be too occupied with her body. Then the presidential duties are not as TV. I think Lydia is still a good president for it, but I do think, though, that she's jumping on the bandwagon. But Ferrari, you had it coming to you. You do a lot of things and you hide your hands. What did you think was going to come about when you do and, 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 and finagle behind the scenes like this? You didn't think it was all going to catch up to you? But at the end of the day, to be a, a host, you got to be a hoe. Now, this is a little random, but, you know, I got to give my girl some shine. You feel me? Like, the biggest star of Young and Reckless, Kayana, you feel me, was getting a little bit of loving from Dawn, okay? If y'all didn't know... Kayana was the start of Young and Reckless. In my opinion, she should be the host. <laughs> she needs to be the host. You feel me? Like, big host, not the little one. Because anytime Kayana came on that camera, you couldn't keep your hand, you couldn't keep your eyes off of her. You feel me? Like, she was that girl. She was, like, that moment. You feel me? And, like, she maneuvered the storyline. So it's like, why not make her the host? So Big Billy, y'all, felt a little bit of ways about some of the stuff Isaiah said on uh, South Central Baddies. Y'all, be patient. I'm going to drop the recaps when I want to drop these recaps, okay? Ain't nobody else doing it, bitch. I'm going to say it. It's a couple other people, but yeah, we know who's doing the best. Anyways, uh, yeah, he felt she felt a way because, you know, Isaiah was being a little bit funny in the confessionals. Now, I don't think he went in that hard, but I see why she felt a way because of the spit situation. Like, he made it seem like a gargoyle spit on her, spit on him. Don't nobody want to spit on him, though. That's the thing. Uh, Billy posted and said, Isaiah be acting weird, uh, be trying to be funny, weird-ass L.A. people, okay? So Billy wasn't feeling, I guess, the confessionals, Isaiah saying, I don't want you to spit on me, and I really don't want Billy spit on me, too. But can you really blame him, Billy? You were sweating up a storm, okay? Foaming out the mouth after squabbling these bitches. And also, Billy to me needs to be put on another show because she's actually funny. And I feel like these shows, they just show her being violent and we don't really get to see her commentary. She's actually really, really funny. So they need to put her on another show. Speaking more of Sausage Baddies, um, why did Isaiah bring Scott to that show? I, I don't I really do not get it. And it's the way that he brought them out. Like, why would you put her first? You should have put out Joyce. We've missed like three episodes now, two, three episodes now, where we could have got funny ass commentary from Joyce. But instead, you bring Sky. She was so annoying to me that episode. I low key don't even want to recap that show because like I'm just irritated watching it because she's just like she random and just talking for nothing. Fuck. Now, uh, Sky put a Zay from Playboy's new better. I sat him down. OK. The way that she was walking around that damn park like a damn amphibian frog was really irritating to me. Um, I feel like Isaiah did a big mistake by bringing her back, um, especially with Joyce not even being there for her to really. Uh, get into it with because it, it just felt awkward. It felt forced. It felt like she was just fighting to fight with people for no reason. Okay. Now on to the baddies of things. It looks like Saucy is still not here for Biggie and posted uh, a story and said, where was this energy Piggy? Piggy really needs to be off of baddies and zoo. She goes for the weakest link, but when it comes to some one who knows how to throw hands, she ain't want to do nothing. Like made the Caribbean baddies starve your big self, ate the food. Clot that tea, okay? Now, 
Saucy's right, I fear. I'm not gonna lie, Biggie. Like that's why I had to take my stand card away from you because it's just like I, I just don't get her lately. But Saucy, you making a big mistake. Bitch, do you want to come back to a hosting position or not? Because all them bitches, they're going to conjure up. They're going to say, we're not going to show up to the reunion. The sauce is going to be there. And then you're not going to come back. We want you to come back. So shut the fuck up. Okay? That's it. That's all. Wait to read them on the stage. And bring us some entertainment. Don't do it on the gram. I think it's a big mistake Saucy is doing. Okay? Because now they're gonna, it's going to be harder for him to come back as a host. Unless Nat now pull for him. Okay? Saucy. You better throw them Big Debbie cakes on Chef D Dick so that way he'll put in a good word in for Nat Nat and Nat Nat will try to have you come back because that's the only way you're coming back at this point. So speaking more of the reunion, y'all, um, it looks like um, Miss J.O., a.k.a. Baddies of Tabernacle, okay? I'm mad you didn't do your praise dance at the end. She apparently says they cut out where she checked to Siki. Added out so much shit. Even when Keevlin to Siki was talking, I said, I'll catch the fade. Fuck is you talking about? They edit that out too. Like, stop playing. I don't know what the fuck y'all think. I don't. Hey, ain't no bitch of me ever. I want to whip anybody any day. But if it's a respect thing, it's respect thing. Like I feel like the Tzatziki and um Kiva thing. It just it was a misunderstanding basically because they both basically saying the same shit type shit. But shit, all right, what we about to do? Why everybody just keep? It was too much talking. But at least they talked it out at the end. And got it out, but at the end of the day, I didn't. Whatever would have happened, would have happened. Mm. Like I said, I was riding with my eyes on, on by any means, like period. Child, the way Kiva, uh, the way J.O. not big inside her head and, and slapped the Dominican out of her, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, I do feel like it was that scene was a little choppy, so I'm sort of believing her to be honest because that scene was very choppy to me. When her keep was getting into it, the camera angles was weird. It looks like they were muting some people that were saying some stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, I do feel like that editing was a little weird in regards to her versus Kiva. And I still feel like Kiva was a little bit scared of Tzatziki, okay? That's why a lot of you guys are, like, you know, coming at Bad Dog talking about, oh, she, she lost and stuff like that. She still had, you know, the guts to step up. Now, speaking more of the reunion, it looks like Bobby Lights is finally addressing Tommy and this whole situation. Y'all know how YouTube do, so we're going to say the big A. So he tweeted and said, damn, Tommy said I had the big A? Wow. In that moment, I didn't hear her. Watching the reunion now, I'm disgusted by her even more. One thing I know I will never do in life is on another person's health. Because guess what? A ain't for, just for gay people. Now clock that. And God don't play by me. So, first of all, Tommy, I still, her behavior to me was utterly disgusting. Okay? And it made me really confirm and think she is a C-whore. Y'all know what the C stands for, allegedly. But to me, Bobby, you need to press legal action towards her if this isn't true. If, emphasis on the if. Stuff like that could really adjust a person's life to the point where there's a lot of stigma around that that big A. I'm not saying to worry y'all because of YouTube. Y'all know how they do. There's a lot of stigmatism around that disease. So it's sort of like if she's lying on you and it's not true, you need to take legal action because that's nothing to play with. I just feel like she wouldn't have said something like that in such a calm way. If it wasn't true, because the reason why it shocked a lot of people is because she didn't say it out loud, like, oh, you know, that. she said it like they were you and her were just talking. The cameras wasn't even really paying attention to it and caught it. That's what made it more shocking. So this tweet to me wasn't enough because you need to do a lot more than this, Bobby. That's defamatory. Fuck all of, you know, this person cheat with that person, that church people. This part, this girl literally said you have an illness that you, from what this tweet is insinuating, you don't. That's defamatory. That's literally why Tasha K owes millions. 
So you might want to take some legal action towards her. And Tommy, I really hope that you're telling the truth and you're just not making this up because karma does not play when it comes to stuff like that. And you really got to be careful what you spit out there in that tongue of yours. Okay? I'm just saying. Now, uh, Ivory uh, spoke a little bit about her baddies experience, y'all. Apparently, y'all, she's sick, tired, and through because she didn't. she's filming more than three days. Okay, instead of three days, it's been 30 days, and she'll know what to do herself. The, like, that's the worst part of all of like the whole experience is the time frame. Like, I'm used to I'm used to filming for six and seven days, feel me doing what I gotta do, and it's leaving. Bitch, we doing this shit every day, constantly back to fucking back. See me, I'm the type like I want an experience like this. No cat like. I'm not talking about another CB, but I'm talking about another experience. Like, I would, if somebody called me saying, like, hey, we want you on the show, you got to be away for like two months. Bitch, I'm picking up that goat. Like, are you feel me? Like, I'm a risk taker like that. Like, if you don't take them chances, they don't come twice. So, I would want an experience like this. A lot of these girls will not survive in BGC because they used to be filmed for like three months in past seasons. They didn't have a phones, nothing. All they had was that big ass landline phone. And some of them knocked each other inside the head with it. So it's like, if y'all couldn't take this, thank God a lot of you girlies were born back then and were able to be on VGC. For 40 days. Like, um, exhausting. Okay, y'all know that STV film by like four days. So it's like, it, it, it ricocheted her system all the way. All right. For what it looks like in the trailer, we didn't see a whole lot of big ivory. So they bring Ivory, play it safe, so that way she can come back for the next season? I think so, and I think she did the right thing. Because if she wants the bag to continue, you got to play a little bit strategic, okay? Let me know what y'all think down below about some of these topics and where I'm going to be.